I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The anti-Christian cancel culture. Beware of it. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's on iTunes, it's on Google Play, and it's also on Amazon. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about the gospel, not throwing treats, keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. The cancel culture. You may know it by name, or you may know it by its the way it looks. Um, someone is canceled because of something that they did in the past. They might have been going along just fine, living their life as they should be living their life, having a blast, doing that thing they do. And then all of a sudden, an old tweet from 1999 comes back and haunts them. I don't even think that Twitter was around then, but you know what I'm saying. Some old photograph from when they were in high school. Something changes everything and causes them to lose their job. Now, they can come out and apologize. They can come back and walk their stuff back. But most times, the culture won't hear anything until proper penance is made. And the penance is... First of all, have you ever noticed that whoever holds this treat has the power of Thor until proper penance is made? And that penance usually involves paying some money to some charitable organization connected to the group that's in control of what's going on. And notice also, and I don't mean to sound a little bit pessimistic, but go with me on this, they never really get forgiven because it can always be brought back at any time and retold. Remember when that person wore blackface? Remember when that person said that racist thing? The vocabulary changes. For a while, some folks in answer to Black Lives Matter would say, hey, wait, all lives matter. But now all lives matter can lose you your job. So what's this about? And how do we as Christians live in it? Well, first, it's about power. It's about the people who are in power controlling what words can be said and what words cannot be said. It feels like it's the culture, but it's really the world, the devil, the world, and our sinful flesh, the folks that control what's acceptable culture and then cancel those who need to be canceled. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is that there's no forgiveness there. And so we were forever locked in, well, penance. The reason why the cancel culture is, is anti-Christian is not because it is against Christianity, which is arguably true, but the cancel culture is anti-Christian because it creates a universe in which you sin and can't get forgiveness, ever that you mess up and you can't undo it. And if you can, it's at great cost to you. And it's by, and that cost is submitting to those in power to get some sort of permission to move forward, not forgiven because we can bring up your sins at any time. Now, where did the, the culture learn that? Well, they learned it from us. That's the way we like to handle people. If we forgive those who sin against us, then we can no longer hold power over them. Come over here, bud. No longer hold control over them. Come over here, bud. No longer keep them underneath our thumb. Look here. Come here. There's a treat right there. You want this treat? See this treat? It's right there. We can no longer keep them underneath. Because as long as they're doing penance, we got them. What makes it unchristian is that universe which we created, that world in which we live in, that can't get forgiveness unless you do proper penance, 
is antithetical to Jesus hanging on the cross. See, your sins are forgiven not because you're such a good person. Your sins are forgiven not because you, um, you uh, have everything down. No, your sins are forgiven because Christ died for you and rose for you and lives for you. And Christians forgive because they have been forgiven. Christians love because they have been first loved by him. And he showed his love by dying, canceling our debt. See, the only person that really cancels in Christianity is Jesus canceling our debt by paying it himself on the cross. So if you want out of the cancel culture, the answer is Christianity. The answer is to reject it and all its conditions and say, I'm not going to live in this. I'm not going to allow something that you said 20 years ago to affect our relationship. If you're sorry, I'm going to forgive you. And if you're not sorry, I'm still going to forgive you because that's going to enliven you to be sorry sometime later. But the end of the cancel culture if you buy into it, is death. You live by being can canceling others, you will be canceled yourself. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. So learn to push away from that and to run to Christ and be merciful to those who don't deserve merciful, forgiving to those who don't forgive, and kind to those who judge. Because the end of the cancel culture is creating is, is, a, is a universe of people who are they themselves proclaimed to be loving and kind and open-minded, but are the most unforgiving, unopen-minded and closed-minded people in the world. Because they don't have mercy. They don't give mercy. Think about it. I'm Pastor George Barkhart. He's gone. And this has been another Higher Things video short.